So welcome to section four, building an extensive AR application with Aw.js. So right now we're going to be getting into building an AR application using JavaScript, and we're going to be focusing on using this API known as Aw.js. So the videos in this section are going to include how to set up our initial project, creating a load function, which is basically going to house all of our code, and then requiring the needed files in order to run this application. Then we are going to move on to adding POIs, otherwise known as points of interest, projections, which are basically our objects in the sense, and then events. After that, we are going to be creating a case statement with certain conditionals, uh, which are basically going to control the events. And then we are going to be adding uh, another box, which is basically going to be part of our project. And we will be creating a compatibility error function. And then we will be testing our application. Then finally, we will be going into how to load a model into Aw.js. So in video one, we are going to be going over setting up, creating the load function, and then requiring the needed files. So in this section, we are going to be working to build TrickCube application. So what TrickCube application is going to do is when the user clicks on a larger cube, it's going to have a medium-sized cube spring out of it. And then when you click on the medium-sized cube, it's going to have a smaller cube come out of that. And then when you click on each one in the descending order, then they will have the other cube, the corresponding cube, go back into the other one. So we are going to start off our application by setting up event listener that will house all of the code in our application. Then we will go in and initialize aw and specify some settings for our environment. After that, then we will require some needed files that we will need in order to begin working with aw.js. And we are also going to be putting those new files into a specific folder. And then at the end, we will be creating a success function and under which we will actually begin starting up our, our AR application in the next video. So we're just going to be beginning that in the, you know, to start off with. Let's first go over uh, where to go download the files for Aw.js. So very simply, you can go onto the Aw.js GitHub repo uh, and you can find it right underneath build AR. So I'm actually going to be using an older version of the API. However, uh, you can actually find the newer one that is directly linked uh, right underneath it. However, for this project that we're going to be doing, it really doesn't matter because we just need a couple of specific files from the API itself. So let's head back over to our desktop. So I already have cloned down the Aw.js master um, API files. I already have a little application set up right here. So in order to speed stuff along, I'm just going to go over the setup that you really need. So I created a JavaScript folder. And inside here, I have about six different files that you're going to need from the API files and from the API directory. In the R.js master, go into the JavaScript folder and you will see a couple different files here. So what we are going to need is we need the all loader.js, the all standard dependencies, the all standard object click, the all standard.js, and that should be it for there. So you need four, these four files from here and then if you go into examples, you want to go check out the marker AR file. In here, we just need two files. We need the uh, JavaScript AR toolkit dependencies, and then we also need the marker AR. So once you get those, just pull them out and put them into a folder. And also you're going to need this marker. So if we open up the folder again, and if you go into examples and marker, you can actually see the marker for this AR application example that you can also just copy. And we will basically be using this in our application. Okay, so let's open up our index file right here. Okay, so I already started off a little bit, uh, just basically what we normally do on our videos. So I have a script right here, and I'm requiring this in the source, which is the allloader.js. So now that this is set up, we can finally begin creating our project. So first, what we want to do is we want to create an event listener, and it's going to have a load function inside of it. This is what's going to basically house all of our code. So let's create a script tag. And now inside of this script tag, we want basically uh, everything for application. So let's begin with an event listener. So a little note right here. When uh, coding out an Aw.js, it can actually get a little bit messy whenever you are going to be creating these functions. Uh, the closing brackets might be a little bit hard to keep track of. So I always put a little comment at the end here what function this basically is. So this here is the load function. So when, after you do that, just open it up. And now all of our code for this application is going to go directly in here. 
So let's begin now. Let's initialize r.js. So now we're going to create this our initialize function, and this is basically what's going to start off our application. So at the end of the initial function, you also want to do another comment, and you want to put down window.aw.init just to keep track of that. Open that up, and let me just space that out a bit. All right, good. Okay, now moving on, let's put in a couple of uh, a little bit of information here for our parameters. So we're going to specify the device type, the settings, and then specific settings for like the different devices that this application is going to run on. For the, in this initial settings, we're actually going to be defining a specific light. And if you have gone through 3.js section, you should recognize that we are actually using a point light in this application here for R.js. Okay, so let's go over what we actually just created right here. Just add a comma right, right over there on the closing bracket for the settings. Okay, so we have our device type that we are specifying as auto detect device type. So this is going to detect whatever device this application is going to be running on. Then underneath our settings, we have a container ID, which basically we're going to set to what we have before and our div above us, which is basically just set to container, which is basically going to just detect you know, what's housing you know, all of our code right here. So um, we have a default camera, and we're specifying the position here as um, 0, 0, 0 across the board. Uh, we have default, and then we have our default lights, which is a point light, and then we're specifying the color and just basically the type. Okay, so now after this, we're going to create a ready function here, which is basically going to specify what the application is going to do when it starts up. So let's drop down underneath our closing bracket here and the, underneath the settings. And let's go ready function. And right here, we actually are going to leave another comment and call this ready. So this is the ready function. So let's open this up. And inside here, we're going to do an other aw.until dot require. So basically, this is going to specify uh, what to do when the application starts up. So leave a comment here aw.until require and open up this array. So inside this array, we're going to specify the capabilities of this application, which are basically going to be gum and webgl. And then we're going to specify the files that we just put into the JavaScript folder. Then after that, we're going to define our success function. But first right now, let's finish up this array right here and put in our capabilities as well as the files. Capabilities, gum. And just one other thing, actually, let's make sure that our closing brackets here are a little bit more better organized. Yeah, let's better organize these. Okay, so I actually just noticed one other thing here. We actually want to have a couple of opening brackets right here, and we want to put our array inside here. Okay, so also put in a our comma right there and space it out a bit more. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is continuing on with our array information, specify the files and put a comma right over here. So now inside here, we're going to define the dependency. We're basically going to define the files such as the standard dependencies and the all standard uh, files that we had placed into that JavaScript folder earlier before. So let's go through and put the names into the array and then we should be able to have these files become required whenever the application needs to run. So let's make another small array in here. We're going to require two files in here, and it's going to be the auth standard dependencies as well as the auth standard.js. All right, so now continuing on, let's finish off by, um, by putting in the auth standard object click the JavaScript AR toolkit dependencies, and then our marker AR.js files in here as well. All 
Okay, so now all of our files should be required. So one last thing here that we will need to do is we will need to define our success function. So whenever this application runs and if it successfully launches, we basically will then begin setting up our scene. So let's define success function. So if it does this, delete this, and we want to have this closing bracket in front of this closing bracket here for the until require function right over here. So in here, what we want to do now is we want to set up, just leave a comment first, and this is going to be for success. And let's drop inside here. And for right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to initialize our scene. So what we're going to do is window.aw.setup scene. And okay, so just space this out a little bit more. And now what I want you to do is just double check and make sure that your closing brackets of your code are in the corresponding order. So load should be at the bottom, followed by window.aw.init, followed by the closing bracket for the ready function, followed by aw.untilRequire, followed by the closing bracket for the, which houses the array inside of until dot require followed by and then followed by the closing bracket for the success function if your closing brackets are in this order then you should be pretty good 